All right, welcome back. This is Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 4, Homework Helper from Eureka. This is going to be a fun one. It is playing Battleship. So, your homework is to play at least one game of Battleship with a friend or family member. You can use the directions from class to teach your opponent. You and your opponent should record your guesses, hits, and misses, as you did in class. When you, finish the escape, the, uh, when you have finished your game, answer these questions. So if you don't have someone at home that can play with you, then what you could do is maybe go online and ask a friend, or if you have someone's number, go and FaceTime them and find out if they could play against you. So let's just think about some of the answers. When you guess a point that is a hit, how do you decide which point to guess next? So you're thinking about a coordinate grid. Where would be the next most obvious place. If you're thinking of a coordinate grid, you're going to ask something that is adjacent to it, right? So right next to it. So if you found something at, right, if you found something that was at, I'm just going to do this really quick, at over to up to, if you got a hit there, would it make sense for you to ask, ask something up there? Of course not. So your answer, the next guess should be adjacent. Now this is a word that just means next to and for us, I'm going to fill this out a little bit more, adjacent would be up, over, diagonally, diagonally, down, right? So you can see it's sort of if you, you were here you could reach all those spaces. This would not be adjacent. It might be a good guess, but it's not right next to it. Okay, number two, how could you change the coordinate plane to make the game easier or more challenging? Well, what's the one thing that made the game really short today? Right, if you have a small grid like this, which would almost be impossible because you can only put one ship on it, but even if I had one ship and it was just my little ship, right, the, I don't know what that's called, but just a little ship, there aren't many choices. You're going to hit very quickly. On the opposite side, if you have a really large grid, it makes the game harder because there's going to be a lot more misses and less hits. So I'm going to write a smaller coordinate plane makes makes the game easier. to find ships. A larger coordinate plane makes the game harder to find ships, right? And the last one, which strategies worked best for you when playing this game? So I played this game for years with my brother and my brother liked to go to one corner of the coordinate plane, right? Whatever, this is a small one, but he would go to one corner of the coordinate plane and he would guess all of these. And you know what? I always beat them because you know what I did? I spread out my guesses and hopefully found a ship here or there. So really, you could have different answers, but for me, spreading out my guesses really helped. Trying to figure out where the boats were, where the ships were, like that. But my brother always was like, he would just do this one corner. And if, he, if I had put all my boats in that corner, he would completely beat me because he would find them all. But most people don't stack their boats all right next to each other. Okay, so um, which strategies work best for me? Sp spreading out my ships so they were harder to find.
that's just worked for me. All right, so that was it, just to play a game and then kind of think about what worked, what kind of strategies you used to play the game. So that's all there was for homework tonight. I hope you had a great time. I hope this helped you think about how it works and keep on calculating. See you next time.